Hello, it's me, Eve, and today I will be making a zine for you while I'm at work. Um, I saw a post on Twitter about how zines are kind of overpopularized these days, um, and there was a comment under the tweet that was, like, pretty much saying, I'm really bad at paraphrasing, but it was pretty much saying, like, a zine is, like, when you have something to say and you just can't contain it anymore and you need to get it out there, and that's what a zine should be, not anything more, not anything less, like, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be anything, it just needs to be you, and that really inspired me, so... I decided to make my own, like, because I was really inspired, like, as soon as I got into work, so, because that's when I saw the tweet. So, today we will be making a zine. I'm at work, so I'm also dealing with customers, so there's a little bit of a bunch of pauses in the beginning. So I'm not very good at explaining things, but um, you can easily look up how to do this fold by typing in like one page zine um, or like one page zine fold or whatever. Once hot dog and then like fold it in the middle once it's in hot dog and then fold the other halves into that half so that you get four even squares on each side. So for the cover, like I honestly didn't know what to do at all. I just kind of started writing something um, and I've never done this font before so I don't know why I chose to today. Um, but I, I really like the title after it's all said and done so I was really trying to just not put boundaries on myself. like just create without thinking because that's one thing I do way too much I think too much and I think so much that I don't create because I'm always thinking about what I should do and so I was trying to just put the pen to paper with this project And obviously, as you'll see, I guess, um, this zine has a lot of emotional depth, I guess. Um, like, it's what was on my mind, and so that's what I wrote about. Um, like, things, something that I'm going through right now and have been going through for a while being a single parent, I guess, um, and so, I don't know, like, I mean, if you read what I write, then you'll get the gist of it, but I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, so, I'm just gonna say that this scene is very personal to me, and it is what I was feeling at the time, like, I guess one thing at least that you can always say about my zines is that they are always very personal. Personal. Personable? Personal? Per yeah, personal. Like, they're very personal. Like, you will... You'll fucking know what I'm going through. <laughs> so, I guess there's that. I really wanted to stick with the two- the double tone. Well, like, the two tone, I guess. Like, purple and black. 
Um, really, because those are the only like good pins that I had on hand. But also, the colors of the cafe that I work at are purple and black. So I don't know. Since I was doing it at work, I figured I might as well stick to something. Anyways. Um, and actually, like I drew this bear character yesterday at work, or the day pr prior to this. Um, and then, like, I guess I liked him, because I had never tried drawing a skeleton before, and then I just randomly did yesterday, and I liked it, and the only reason I hadn't drawn any before is because I was always afraid that they would turn out ugly, and then I just did it, and it turned out okay, so I was happy about that, and I just kind of ran with it for this project, because I feel like... I don't know. I just like the little character, and I think it fits me right now in my artistic state. And so here's the finished product, my one-page zine. Um, I love how it came out. Um, I feel like it's different than what I would usually do, but it's actually not that different, so I don't know. But it feels different. I feel like the intent was different because I kind of just forced myself to not think instead of overthinking like I usually do. So I went and made copies at FedEx and of course I cut them all out, which was like, honestly, I'm surprised that I cut them out all so well because that's usually the hardest part that I have. Um, I remade the post-it note that I have inside on the set on the second th uh, or third page or whatever um, because I want everyone to have like a little you know a little post-it note I don't know as like a reminder I guess if people want it to be or just you know just a little a little addition to the zine um, so I remade those for each one and then I was done and that is my zine to be alone or not to be I really hope you guys like the video um, yeah have a good evening oh also this zine is for purchase on my website statuspurgatory.com the link is in all my social media bios and also in the description bar. Thanks for watching.